Welcome to 2024. 2024 is the year of the... Well, it's been the year so far. <laughs> this is the second day of the year that I'm recording this, and hopefully the third day of the year that I'm posting this, but it's been a hell of a time. It's really been a hell of a time. And I even got more crap that I got to deal with that got put on me just today during this recording. But, I, I mean, it, it's not really something that I'm trying to worry about or get into right now because there's nothing really that is happening with it right now. But, in the future, whenever more stuff comes out, then I'll say something. It's nothing bad, it's just more crap to frustrate me and stress me. My grandpa is still in the nursing home. Um, he's been trying to get well, he's been trying to do everything he can to get home, because he absolutely hates it there. He hates everything about that nursing home, all the nurses there. They try to be as friendly as possible, but the other thing too is, is my grandpa is who my grandpa is. He's going to do what he wants to do. He's not, like, wanting people to do all this crap for him. And so he's very frustrating and hard to deal with sometimes. And so I feel for them. <laughs> but it, otherwise, like, he he's just trying to recover the best that he can and try to get out of there as soon as possible so he can get back home to my grandmother. I don't know exactly what all is going to be going on just yet whenever he gets home. So far, there have been a lot of talks about them moving, um, possibly moving in with my mom. I have had several crying fits between now and whenever my grandpa went to the hospital the first time. And I think I've finally just come up with the realization that that would probably be the best thing for them. I've got a lot of crap of my own that i got to deal with, and... It's not their responsibility to help me out, just as it's not necessarily my responsibility to help them out. And they also acknowledge that, too. It's technically the responsibility of the the kids, their kids. I'm just the grandkid. But I've just been trying to step up a little bit just to help them out. Just you now, like my grandma, she'll need to go to the doctor's appointments and stuff, so I'll take her there or I'll take her to the store or just out to go and see my grandpa. We went and saw him. Christmas Eve and day, he was very ecstatic about that. Um, New Year's Eve, we saw him again. So we, we've tried to at least spend the holidays with each other like as much as possible. But New Year's Eve, to be honest with you, as soon as I got done hanging out with them, I came back here and about 8, 9 o'clock, I was just ready for bed. And so I just pretty much went to bed. So I tried to stay up until midnight. Like there were a few times where I kind of woke up and I'm like, is it midnight yet? Uh, is it midnight yet? Uh. Now I would just go back to sleep. <laughs> I'll be 100% honest with you guys. Like, 2023 hasn't really been the best year to me. Um, from start to finish, honestly, like January of last year, I had to go to the hospital because I messed up one of my fingers again. Um, and then all the way until December, it's just been like, well, either I'm going to the hospital or my family members are going to the hospital or people are depressed or I'm depressed or just whatever. That this has been the wildest 13 months almost that I've had to ever probably deal with in one go in my life. Like, there's been a lot of shit that I've had to deal with that was kind of rough, but this is probably one of the roughest, like, consistent, <laughs> you know, just non-stop over and over. And I don't know, like, what all it is that I can really change about it right now, except for just try to keep going. But here's my thing. Unfortunately, right now, there's a lot of stuff that, that's going on that's kind of taking my mind away from things. My grandma's needing my help consistently, and I'm trying to be there to at least give her the support that she's needing. On top of it, I have some other stuff behind the scenes for me that I need to get taken care of. And just some things that I've been trying to think about. Because I'm, I know I've said this several times, but there's either people who haven't watched the videos or there's possibly new people here or people who haven't heard it at all. Um, I'm, I'm almost 30. I'm, I'm trying to get a lot more of my stuff figured out really soon because I just don't want to be stuck in this rut where I'm doing things that a teenager would do where it's live with roommates or, you know, um, focus on things uh, that I would just want to have fun with. Like, I love recording games and I love doing that kind of stuff, but realistically it's not my job youtube has always been that one place where i could just get away from everything and just enjoy it and it always had been like ever since i started doing stuff on here for the first time but 
sitting here and consistently pumping out content every single day because I did that for a while. And during COVID, I was doing two videos a day because I didn't have anything else to do. Sitting there and pumping out that content is not good for anyone. It's not good for any of you new content creators who are trying to post content unless you just have like all the free time in the world that you could just sit there and deal with the stuff or if you could get editors and stuff like that. That's the other thing. I don't have an editor. I would love to have an editor, but I don't have the money to afford an editor, <laughs> especially not right now. Um, and... It's just, I don't think that if I get an editor, it'll be the same style that I want. Or, you know, maybe it's just not going to be the type of video that I'm wanting to post. Or it won't feel like me. It'll feel like someone else's creation. And I, I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. And it's not necessarily that I'm against editors or people who are wanting to be full-time editors for YouTubers and stuff. Like, all of them do a fantastic job. I think a lot of them can really take inspiration off of each other, too. But... Just sitting here every single day trying to figure out a video to post because I'm so afraid. This is what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid if I stop posting, the algorithm will stop recommending me. And then people will start leaving. And then my channel will die off. And then I'm going to have to start all over again. That's going to be my honest reaction with this. I'm, I'm afraid that if I stop posting, you guys will leave and I will not be able to get the audience back. And that really sucks because this is something that I've wanted to do for many, many years. And I'm so close to something that I've never seen before, which is a thousand subscribers. I've been trying to get to a thousand subscribers for years and I'm a hundred and ninety some away right now. And that's all I've just wanted to do is just grow the channel. And on top of it, I'm so close to becoming partner. It's not even funny. Like, I need a thousand, let, let's see, what are, what are the requirements? A thousand subscribers and 4,000 public watch hours or 10 million public shorts views. I don't post enough shorts for public shorts views. But, like, I am so close. Like, okay, I can even get the memberships going if I can get, like, 1,800 more public watch hours right now. But if I want to get to the actual partnership that I can, you know, build the channel and make money and get editors and build more stuff and make this channel bigger the only way i could do that is if i get that uh number to go up and i'm not sitting here trying to be like come on come on come on i want to make money i want to make money i'm just saying that it's not something that's feasible for me to do every single day or most of the week if i don't have the time or the funds or the resources to actually do a lot of that stuff and it's hard as it is to say for me especially because YouTube has basically been my life <laughs> for way too long. <laughs> Not necessarily being like a content creator but just like watching YouTube and doing stuff on here. That That's just what I've enjoyed. I don't enjoy watching TV or movies because it's all just the same shit. At least on YouTube there's somewhat of a variety of things and that's also what I want to do with this channel. I want I want to do things that are interesting to me I feel like would be interesting to you guys it would give me more time to get a video actually prepared and ready to go and something that you guys will actually enjoy instead of me just kind of throwing out like a cyberpunk video here or an itch.io game here I, I can actually you know work on something for a while and get it to where you guys will enjoy it that's my main goal is to make sure you guys are happy and I know that if I don't post for long periods of time, then that kind of affects it as well. But my main goal is to make sure that you guys are happy. And on top of it, grow a YouTube channel, which is something I've wanted to do forever. But my main thing is to make sure that you guys are entertained and are happy and everything is good. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. If you guys want to help out, Definitely share the channel. Like like I said, I'm almost to a 1,000 subscribers. I hope I get to it this year. That's all I'm wanting. I just want to get there already. That's all I want. Really, if you guys want to help, just continue to watch the videos. Like, I've posted even lots of long videos. I, I, don't, I don't promote, like, people going on there and, like, fake watching or view botting or whatever. But if you guys just so happen to watch a video of mine and you fall asleep to it and it's like two hours long, then I mean that would be very much appreciated for some watch time. That, that's really all I can ask for. And just, you know, all of y'all just be kind to each other. 
be kind to everyone in the world. Just do something good. That that that's my main goal out of also slowing down on my uploads dr dramatically, is to just be able to do something good, something good for this world, something that I can look back on and be like, you know what, I actually did something that benefited people or benefited me. Because right now, posting video game videos of other people's work is not doing it for me. It's boosting them. You know what it's doing for me? Uh, I get a few extra views every now and again. And then I get a shout out from the the developer. And it, it's, it's like, I mean, I, I want them to flourish too. But I also want to be able to not get screwed over in the process. That's also why it's kind of hard for me to want to collaborate with people, if you've ever noticed. Like, I usually do a lot of things on my own, and it's hard for me to collaborate with people. And <laughs> that's that that's that's pretty much why. Yeah, that's all that's going on. 2024 has been an interesting year so far. Only two days in, and oh my god. There's just so much shit. But I'm, I'm trying... I'm trying my hardest. I'm trying to get something out for you guys. Um, I just need more time. There's just so much that's going on. I'm taking care of family. I'm, well, taking care of my family out there and my family here and just trying to, just trying to survive, bro. That's all I'm trying to do. I, I don't have all the money in the world, but I have enough to at least survive and that's all I'm just trying to continue to do at this point that's all i want i just want to tell everyone who would be watching this video thank you thank you you all are great and i'm just so glad that i've worked at something so hard and i've gotten as far as i've gotten with it so far like that's awesome at least i'm just hoping that i can continue that same work ethic just going into 2024 I should have a lot more time to be able to get something good out. So if I put out some garbage content, definitely call me out on it. New videos will come out every Friday. I figured that would be the best time. And then, yeah, and then you guys have something to enjoy during the weekend. Anyhow, uh, yeah, happy 2024, everybody. We'll see you whenever I see you. <laughs> no, um, not this upcoming Friday, not the 5th, but the 12th. I think that is the next Friday there will be a new video, so look out for it then just give me some time that's all i'm asking please please i will make it worth your while if you give me time